It is a project that has been in the planning stages now for more than four decades. And today, officials broke ground on the Highway 100 extension. The extension will connect Edgewood Road to Highway 30 and include several exits along the way. Construction will be will close lanes and will cause delays for at least the next 18 months on Edgewood Road Northeast. Having connectivity uh, into 30 is really a key piece, especially for Cedar Rapids. If you think of you know the businesses, the movement of product that we see. This expressway is incredibly important to this part of the city. We all know that it's a game changer for moving people and goods, but it is also a game changer for our economic development. The entire project is expected to be done by 2020. While construction workers put shovel to dirt today, local drivers and businesses have been feeling the effects of prep work for months. Between narrowing lanes and bigger work zones, people say they see cars stop up and down Edgewood Road. Fox 28 News reporter Kevin Barry is live there now. Kevin. Scott and Tiffany, no matter how you slice it, Edgewood Road, Edgewood Road was high volume even before you made it one big construction zone. And once they did, all bets are off. It makes for a whole lot of sitting around on the road. I know that there's a lot of people who want to avoid this area because of how bad it's been getting backed up. I mean, all the way down Edgewood Road to Blair's Ferry. I think there has definitely been a lot of frustration with clientele not knowing of the construction's dates. At Pro Cuts, the seemingly endless orange traffic cones outside have been making it harder to get the green inside. And we have a lot of clients that if they're coming from out of the area, they'll be running late. Customers late for appointments means backed up hairstylists. Rachel says it's forcing people to change around their entire schedules just for a cut. Just down the parking lot, the outlook is a little bit different at Beef O'Brady's. More people stuck in traffic means more time to notice that sign on the wall. Hopefully they'll start seeing some of the new businesses that we have out here with the new strip mall, be able to see us at this strip mall, and hopefully it might actually increase our sales a little bit more. While it might bring in more business now, Susan says wait until the project is finished. As of right now, we're kind of in the, the corner of town. Like, unless you are going to the side town, you're not, people don't usually take a trip out here. We've been here eight years, so there's people that don't even know we're here yet. Um, so I think that it'll give us some exposure to some of the smaller communities around us. All of those businesses agree that the traffic is a pain. Even those businesses don't want to deal with it when they get off work and they try to go home. But they say that they're looking forward to that delayed payoff, no matter how far away it may be. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Kevin Barrett.